Goodbye, Google Chrome, Safari, and every other browser crowd in my dock. Ever since I moved my entire workflow into ChatGPT, I hardly ever open the search bar. And now, with the new agent feature, old school browsers are now basically history. It can now browse websites, write code, fill out forms, even whip up slide decks while you sit back. This isn't the all chat only GPT, it thinks and acts on its own computer to get stuff done for you. When GPT-5 lands this summer, we'll completely rethink how humans navigate the internet. Web search reimagined. I'm already eyeing my task list wondering, can I offload half of this to ChatGPT? Altman teased that GPT-5 will bring significant improvements over GPT-4. While he didn't spill all the details, OpenAI's team has hinted at some game-changing upgrades. One big change is how new models are named and updated. Altman noted that with GPT-4, they quietly shipped many enhancements over time, some internally called GPT-4.1 or GPT-4.0, leading to confusion about versions. This time, they're aiming for clarity, ideally jumping straight to GPT-5 and later GPT-6 as distinct major models rather than a bunch of half-step names. I hope we don't have to do that. <laughs> I am excited to just get to GPT-5 and yeah. GPT-6. In practice, this means GPT-5 should absorb all the upgrades that might have been called GPT-4.5, etc., and launch as one big leap. It's not just a faster model. We're already seeing signs of how GPT-5 integrates with the new agent system, letting it not only reason better, but also act smarter. Instead of giving you a clever answer, it just gets the job done. Perhaps the most exciting confirmed news, GPT-5 will unify OpenAI's various model lines into one system. Right now, if you use ChatGPT, you have to choose between models like GPT-4 versus Code Interpreter versus O-Series models. OpenAI says the confusion is ending. We are not only pushing a new boundary with GPT-5, we are also uniting our two series, says Romain Hewitt head of developer experience at OpenAI. He explained that GPT-5 combines the breakthroughs of the reasoning-focused O series, like the O1, O2, O3 models, with the multimodal prowess of the GPT series. Instead of having separate specialized AIs, GPT-5 is one model to rule them all. A single AI that can handle text, images, audio, and more in one go. Jerry Torek, an OpenAI VP, confirmed this unified vision, saying GPT-5 is our next foundational model meant to just make everything our models can currently do better and with less model switching. And now, with the new ChatGPT agent feature, that vision is already arriving ahead of GPT-5. The agent can browse the web, run code, fill out forms on its own. GPT-5 will likely make this even smoother, fusing deep reasoning with real-world action. Imagine asking GPT-5 a tough multi-step question, and it silently delegates subtasks to specialized helper agents or plugins, all without you explicitly prompting it to do so. This rumor has led people to dub GPT-5 as potentially Agent GPT, an AI smart enough to use other AIs. Now, OpenAI hasn't confirmed any built-in autonomous agent feature, but it's not outlandish given they've been working on an operator agent and plugin ecosystem. It fits the pattern, unify everything into one model, including tool use. But if true, GPT-5 might be able to decide on its own when to browse the web, run code, use a plugin, etc., to get you the answer, rather than waiting for us to say, use tool X. That could make it feel a lot more like an AI assistant that acts autonomously within safe boundaries. In practical terms, you won't have to pick a mode for brainstorming versus coding versus vision. The same GPT-5 can do it all seamlessly. Another feature Sam is excited about is long-term memory in ChatGPT, which GPT-5 will likely enhance even further. OpenAI recently rolled out a beta memory feature that lets ChatGPT remember facts about you from prior conversations. Memory is probably my favorite recent ChatGPT feature. And now that the computer, I feel like it kind of like knows a lot of context on me. And if I ask it a question with only a small number of words, it knows enough about the rest of my life to be pretty confident in what I want it to do. He also notes some users may not like the AI remembering things, but most do find it helpful and you can always turn it off. GPT-5 
is expected to build on this idea of persistent, personalized context, pushing toward a world where AI will just have unbelievable context on your life to give extremely tailored answers. In other words, GPT-5's context window and its ability to retain user-specific info should expand greatly. In April, ChatGPT for Plus users gained the ability to reference all prior chats, hinting at what's to come. With GPT-5, interacting with ChatGPT might feel more like talking to an assistant who actually knows you and remembers your past conversations in detail. One of the most viral rumors is that GPT-5 will have an insanely large context window, possibly on the order of one, two, million tokens. For comparison, the current GPT-4 maxes out at 128k tokens, about 100,000 words. A million tokens is like the length of five novels combined. Essentially, rumors suggest GPT-5 could intake entire books or even multiple books worth of text in one go. This means you could paste a huge research paper or a lengthy legal contract or a whole code base, and GPT-5 could analyze it all in one shot without forgetting earlier parts. Also, a well-known AI researcher, David Shapiro, speculated on X that context windows could be substantially larger than people expect, maybe up to 2 million tokens. And there are reports that Google's Gemini model is targeting 1 million plus tokens. So folks assume OpenAI will match or beat that. However, no official confirmation. Technically possible with the new supercomputer, but we'll have to see. If true though, it's a game changer. Pair that long-term memory with an autonomous agent that can take action based on what it remembers. And you're not just chatting with an AI anymore, you're working alongside it. OpenAI's separate O series models have been all about step-by-step -step reasoning and problem solving, the kind of chain of thought approach that lets an AI work through complex tasks. Those models like O1, O2, O3 were specialized agents that could, for example, break down coding challenges. Now with GPT-5, that capability is being merged into the main model. Sam Altman has hinted that the progress made with these reasoned models gives a preview of GPT-5's power. How good are they? Our very first reasoning model was like a top one millionth competitive programmer in the world. O3 is the 175th best program competitive programmer in the world, and maybe we'll hit number one by the end of this year. In other words, by using clever training techniques like reinforcement learning for reason steps, rather than just scaling up size, OpenAI achieved with O series models what we might have expected from an even bigger GPT-6 size model. So what happens when they take those reasoning breakthroughs and bake them into a much larger general model like GPT-5? Sam is very optimistic. And remember, today's models already cut research cycles in half with smart prompting. Our team ran a few dozen sponsor email threads through ChatGPT. It mapped every winning negotiation path in two days, work that used to take our marketer two weeks. And now our new negotiation strategy brings us two times more revenue from collaborations than before. We share these proven prompting strategies in Generative AI 101 Inside AI Master Membership. Altman explained that the O series approach doesn't improve everything uniformly. A reasoning tuned model might excel at coding or math, but still be average in open-ended chat. However, if you pre-train a much bigger model and then apply these reasoning techniques, you get the best of both. With a significant jump in model size compute and integrated reasoning, Altman said he expects the first bits or sort of signs of life of genuine new scientific knowledge to emerge. That is a bold claim. It implies GPT-5 might not just use existing knowledge, but actually discover new science or prove new theorems on its own. This level of AI capability was previously imagined for GPT-6 or beyond, but OpenAI now hopes to see early signs of it in GPT-5. To temper the hype, it doesn't mean GPT-5 is an omniscient genius that will solve science overnight, but OpenAI thinks it could start tackling problems and generating insights that no AI has before. Perhaps we'll see AI-assisted discoveries or proofs of concept in fields like math, biology, or chemistry coming from GPT-5, a glimpse of AI as a true research partner. GPT-5 is confirmed to be fully multimodal, unifying text and other media. We, we won't get all the way here with GPT-5, but eventually we do want one integrated model that can like 
reason really hard when it needs to and generate like real-time video when it needs to do that. OpenAI hasn't explicitly said GPT-5 will handle big videos, but it will handle at least text, images, and audio in one model and possibly simple video or more complex modalities as well. The idea is you can provide any input, describe an image, speak a question, etc., and GPT-5 will process it intelligently, then respond with text or speech as needed. This one model for everything approach removes the friction of switching contexts. For users, it should feel like more cohesive AI that can see, hear, speak, and think through problems in a unified way. Let's take a quick break from GPT-5 to look at another cutting edge video AI development. Imagine you could create a professional product demo video without any cameras, studios, or human models. Well, that's exactly what Top View Avatar 2 is doing, a sponsor of today's video. Avatar 2 is the latest AI tool from Top View AI, and it's basically one of the most powerful AI avatar tools for product showcasing. Picture shooting a promo for a sofa, barbell, or winter coat with zero cameras, studio lights, or human talent. That's easy magic. Upload one product photo, pick an avatar from a library of more than a thousand realistic faces and body types, paste your script, and seconds later, you've got a scroll stop and UGC style video. Each avatar lip syncs flawlessly in over 20 languages, throws natural gestures, smiles on cue, and keeps every logo and texture on your product. Pixel perfect. One total control, switch to manual mode and tweak angles or poses, prefer zero friction, hit avatar 2 mode, and the AI handles everything. From staging to subtitle styling, brands love the math. Videos in under an hour, instead of days, costs slashed compared with studio shoots or influencer fees, and effortless localization. Generate Spanish, English, and Mandarin versions with a click. Shopify and Amazon sellers have already pumped out hundreds of Avatar 2 clips during beta, reporting higher click-through rates and faster A-B testing because they can crank out content for an entire catalog overnight. Need 50 variants of the same ad, regenerate with new avatars or scripts. Top View says, from product image to full video in minutes, and that slogan isn't just hype. Click the link in the description and grab a free trial live now at Top View AI. So if you are in marketing, e-commerce, or just an AI geek who wants to create a fake commercial on the fly, give it a spin and watch your product spring to life. No actors, no set, just pure generative creativity. Training the model as advanced as GPT-5 requires astronomical computing power. And OpenAI has been preparing for this behind the scenes. Sam revealed a new internal project code named Stargate, which is essentially a massive AI supercomputer cluster built for GPT-5. How massive? I'm thrilled we get to do this in the United States of America. I think this will be the most important project of this era. This aligns with OpenAI's historical trend. Each major GPT model used roughly 10x to 100x more compute power than its predecessor. GPT-3, GPT-4, and now GPT-5 each jumped by huge factors. In fact, GPT-5 has been trained on an unprecedented scale, possibly the largest AI training run in history so far. OpenAI reportedly partnered with Microsoft to build out this supercomputing infrastructure, tens of thousands of GPUs, if not more, and it appears ready to go. What does all this mean for us? Essentially, OpenAI isn't holding back on hardware. They've scaled up to supercomputer level might to give GPT-5 the capacity it needs. How big is GPT-5? This is a classic guessing game. With GPT-3 around 175 billion parameters and GPT-4 rumored near 1.8 trillion, some expect GPT-5 to be multi-trillions. However, OpenAI hasn't given any spec details and Sam Altman downplayed the importance of sheer size. The era of parameter scaling is over. The bottom line, GPT-5's train and compute is so high that we expect a qualitative leap in performance, not just a small incremental upgrade. And with Stargate, OpenAI has built the infrastructure to keep pushing further in the future. Despite the hype, OpenAI is being very careful about GPT-5's release. Altman has repeatedly stressed that safety is the gating factor. The model has been undergoing extensive internal testing and red teaming, where employees and outside experts stress test it to find flaws. GPT-5 will not go live until these evaluations satisfy OpenAI's criteria. We expect a tiered release. 
For example, ChatGPT Plus users might get GPT-5 at some standard setting, and perhaps a higher-priced Pro tier, rumored 200 month, could unlock GPT-5's full capabilities, like larger context windows or faster outputs. Altman hinted at this kind of stratification back in early 2025, that free users would get a solid model, but subscribers would get an even more powerful version. All this GPT-5 talk has you thinking, okay, I need to get serious about mastering AI, but GPT Pro tier is too expensive. We've got you covered. Inside our AI Master membership, we build Generative AI 101, hands-on course that walks you from your very first prompt to pro level tactics we actually use in the real world. No fire hose of theory, just bite-sized lessons that drop every week so you stay current without getting buried. Clear demos, quick wins, zero fluff. And because you're watching this in AI Master, you can lock in a full year at 63% off right now. Hit the link below, jump in, and let's level up your AI game together. Ever since Altman said summer, people have been speculating the exact drop date for GPT-5. Some optimists think late July 2025 could see a launch, perhaps timed with some OpenAI event or even a stealth update to ChatGPT. Others think August is more likely, giving them a bit more test time. Interestingly, Altman back in February used the phrase weeks, months, which had people hoping for maybe May or June. When that passed, there was chatter that maybe GPT-5 had been delayed. But now officially, GPT-5 is very real and coming very soon. One thing's for sure, the moment OpenAI releases GPT-5, it will dominate tech headlines and flood YouTube with GPT-5 tests and reactions. The AI community and indeed many everyday users are waiting with bated breath. If the model lives up to even 70% of the hype, it's gonna be very impressive. We could be just weeks away from new era of ChatGPT capabilities. So whether you are excited or anxious or a bit of both, stay tuned with our AI Master membership. We'll definitely cover GPT-5 in depth once it's out, put it through its paces and see how it changes the game. With the agent feature already alive and GPT-5 just weeks away, it feels like we're entering a completely new phase where ChatGPT doesn't just answer your questions, it takes tasks off your plate. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one.